Jesus paid a price for you to have your shoes shod with the gospel of peace. Peace doesn't come because your life's going well. Peace doesn't come because your ducks are in a row. Peace doesn't come because your boss was nice to you. Peace doesn't come because your kids are running wild and you just pray that God would fix them so your life gets better. Peace doesn't come because you pray for your wife that maybe if she just gets it, your life would be okay. Your life's okay because you get it. Peace doesn't come because God, if you just touch my husband, then maybe I can seek your face. Oh, think that the enemy didn't hear that prayer. Peace doesn't come because everything is working okay. Peace comes because you know who you are in him. Peace comes because Jesus says, come to me all of you who are weary and burdened down by life. Come to me and I will give you rest. All of a sudden we get this rest. Then he says, take my yoke upon you. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's what he says. Then he says something that's so key that very few people Press in to understand this. Sometimes they think that they're unworthy to learn from Jesus because you've messed up too much. Gosh, if you could fix yourself, you probably would. But you can't. So we have to let him teach and train our hearts who we're created to be, but it only comes from learning from him. Because he said, now learn from me. That's what Jesus says. Learn from me. Imagine that, where you can personally learn from Jesus Christ. And you have this amazing tutor, Holy Ghost, that will teach you all things that are true. It says in 1 John 2, 27, you need no one to teach you, for you have the anointing that teaches you all things that are true. Does that mean we don't have a need for teachers? Absolutely not. That would say the fivefold gifting is not something that's necessary. And God put fivefold gifting in place. Pastors, apostles, teachers, evangelists, prophets. Why? Because they're for the training and equipping of the saints for the works of ministry. But you can't be properly taught by Holy Spirit until you step into the reality of what it means to be a saint. And I can't really receive truth from a teacher unless I have a relationship from the teacher. 